Hello and welcome. The mesh generation process in modern day CFD starts with either a CAD geometry where a user is attempting to create a new mesh or an existing mesh file where the goal is to modify the mesh. Because of this, there are two input options available in the ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Geometry Workflow. The CAD import which starts from a CAD geometry and the mesh import which starts either from an existing mesh file or an ANSYS Fluent case file. In this video, we will focus only on the CAD import geometry part specifically on how to prepare your CAD geometry so that it can be successfully imported into the watertight geometry workflow. Let's focus on the CAD geometry first. An important requirement for using the watertight geometry workflow is that the CAD geometry must be relatively clean with watertight regions. The keywords here are clean and watertight. Clean CAD refers to error-free geometries. The check geometry tool in ANSYS Discovery is the recommended method to look for any geometry errors such as bad or non-manifold phases. To perform this operation, right click on the part and select check geometry. If the CAD is clean, you will get the message no geometry problems found. If error messages are displayed, it is advisable to fix them in ANSYS discovery before importing the geometry into the watertight geometry workflow. Sometimes these fixes might involve deleting the bad faces and recreating them. Watertight CADs refer to geometries with no gaps, holes or leaks. If the geometry has holes or leaks, ANSYS Discovery displays them as a surface object in the structure tree. In such scenarios, we must simply identify and plug these holes by creating the missing faces. Tools such as stitch, gaps and missing faces under the solidify group in the repair tab of ANSYS Discovery are quite useful in such cases. Once the geometry becomes watertight, this surface object is automatically converted to a 3D solid body. Users interested in meshing geometries with imperfections which cannot be easily fixed should instead use the fault tolerant meshing workflow in fluent meshing. To get more information about this workflow, please refer to the ANSYS Fluent Users Guide. The CAD geometries used in the watertight geometry workflow can be a single body part like the exhaust manifold or a combination of multiple bodies like this printed circuit board enclosure. The CAD input type supports any combination of fluid and or solid bodies to perform for example a conjugate heat transfer analysis. In fact, the imported geometries may only be either solids or fluids. In this example, we observe that there are several components on the PCB and each component contains multiple solid bodies. While the fluid volume can be extracted in ANSYS Discovery, which can be done using the Volume Extract tool in the Prepare tab, it is not necessary to do so while creating the CAD geometry. This fluid volume can be extracted automatically using the surface mesh created on the solid geometry directly in the meshing workflow. It is important to highlight that the surface mesh created on all the surface of the solid geometry including the non-weighted surfaces and this operation may consume additional time and memory especially for complex geometries. It is therefore best to prepare the geometry by removing unnecessary assemblies from the CAD file before importing it into the watertight geometry workflow. In addition to solid and fluid volumes, the watertight geometry workflow also supports importing of geometries with voids. 
when dealing with multi body parts like this electronics enclosure care should be taken to ensure that each of these bodies fluid or solid should be individually watertight and as a rule of thumb the shear topology operation in ansys discovery between these multiple bodies should be performed before inputting the cad into ansys fluent machine this option can be found in the prepare tab of ansys discovery and it allows us to generate a conformal mesh if successful the shared faces and edges are highlighted in purple color in the tree and it is recommended to perform the check geometry operation before and after the shear topology operation the review option is not mandatory but can be used after the regular shear which uses contact detection in ansys discovery and identify surfaces with fail shearing and a green check mark executes for shearing on individual surfaces according to the set tolerances the cad import also supports the import of fully enclosed bodies such as an aircraft or a racing car placed inside an enclosure for external aerodynamic simulations in such cases it is not required to subtract the solid body from the enclosure at the cad geometry stage moreover sharing the topology between the solid object and the enclosure is not recommended for such problems baffle type geometrical features often seen in mixing tanks or heat exchangers are also supported cad entities in the watertight geometry workflow it is important however to share the topology specially on the edges finally it is recommended to group surfaces and create name selections in ansys discovery before importing the geometry into ansys fluent machine these name selections are useful for adding local sizes and are subsequently identified by ansys fluent when assigning boundary conditions during the modeling stage of the simulation and to create them in ansys discovery you can use the name selection option in the bottom right corner as shown select all the surfaces you would like to group and click on the create a name selection button as shown you can use the control and left mouse click to make multiple selections of the surfaces for example we will select the following four faces and label them as outlet and this fluent will automatically read these labels and assign the pressure outlet boundary condition based on the naming convention the details about typical naming conventions on boundaries such as inlet outlet far field symmetry wall and interior or internal can be found in the ansys fluent users guide in summary the cad geometries imported into the watertight geometry workflow must be clean and watertight the shear topology operation must be performed on geometries involving multiple bodies that can include both fluids and or solids and or voids it is extremely useful and convenient to spend a few minutes on creating name selections in ansys discovery before importing the cad geometry into ansys fluent formation this brings us to the end of our video